How y'all are? It's me, Patty Gray Boyd, Patty Wax Knickknacks. Uh, first, I gotta show you my uh, shirt. People should seriously, huh, what does it say? Stop expecting normal from me. We all know it's never gonna happen. That should just set you off for the day. All right, uh, Patty Wax Knickknacks. I have just gone on to my website and updated it, and um, I am not really getting out of doing jewelry, but I just am slowing down from it. So all the jewelry on the website, all the necklaces are three dollars. Three dollars. Come on, you can buy five, ten for Christmas teachers appreciation. Uh, birthdays, anniversaries, wedding gifts, whatever. Go out there and check it out. I'll have it written up here somewhere. Um, I don't only do glass fusion though. I do crochet. I also do tatting mm, occasionally. Um, I don't see these wreaths up here. I had a I have a video out on how to do those. Plus, I've done some classes or a class here. Um, I also do artwork. The local city of Winterville, Georgia does a Winterville Marigold Festival every year in May. And they do a call for artists and so to draw something that represents Winterville, the sites around Winterville. And they would use it for their uh, logo for this year. So I entered didn't make it, but that's okay. I think they're going to be on display at the community center. So that is what I entered. Which, those pictures mean something to me because two of them involve people that I knew that are no longer with us. Um, so anyway, that's the other thing I do, artwork. And a new thing, thank you Fifi, sister who said, I think you ought to try this. Because I've been making kits, you know, like dollhouse kits, but it's not really dollhouses. I'll have some pictures on here to show you what I've done. She suggested, she showed me a picture of someone that had, or a suitcase, uh, you know, a little kid's suitcase, and made it into a dollhouse that you carry with him. I said, that's cute. I don't know if I can do it, but that's cute. Well, at first, I couldn't find the suitcase, and I found these at Michael's, I think, on sale. It was just a little wooden purse, and I painted it and put... You can buy like these little kits that have doors that you can paint and glue on, windows. So that's what I did with this. Then you open it up. Now I don't have a doll in here right now because I'm still trying to find the right size. I have a little light up here that's battery operated and there's furniture right there and I could I'm gonna try and add a bed of some sort in there we'll see so I figured that's just really too small for my little girls it, it would probably do well for um, just display oops moved around so I found these little cutie pie suitcases. I added a door and some windows. I'm going to paint on here to try and make a scene. But it's much bigger inside. 
We got the grass, and there's some little furniture I've made that goes in there. Plus, there'll be other things going on, um, which I'm thinking about selling, but we'll see. So the pieces that went inside there is is like the kit that I used to that I order. I still have one left to make, but this one is from um, Hobby Lobby. Is that right? Hobby Lobby. It's called May. Mayberry Street and they have different scenes this one had everything that I thought would fit in there I'm not using you know you usually use the walls and everything but since I already have walls I'm not using that but let me show you the inside so in case you feel like you have the need to go out and do this you'll see what you're getting into little bags of stuff that you have to glue together. Ain't it wonderful? It is fun if you have the patience and you're not allergic to glue. I enjoy doing it. I've done three. This is going in here. I still have one left to make. You can also get these little boxes of stuff. And so you have little doggies, little uh, mushrooms, ducks, stuff like that there and you can also buy the little things of baked grass I've got little unicorns that are growing in there you can also buy interior stuff let's see if I can hold this up like this little mirror another little mirror These little lamps. These are magnetized down here with a button battery. So all you have to do is turn it on and it'll come on. You don't need wiring for it. The others that I have that I've made uh, have wiring that goes in and out and you can just flip it on with one switch. But seeing as this is going to be hopefully transported by a young person to play with, uh, you can't really do that, so you use magnets. Okay, um, I think that's about it for this one. Not very much to say or do, because um, I'm not in a position to show you. I, there is another thing that I do with fused glass that I've really come to like, and it's where you can take pictures and run them through this special printer that I bought that puts down a certain ink and then you make it into a, you run it off the special paper, which is like transfer paper. And then you can put it on glass and then you have the picture um, transferred to glass. And I want to show you that, but the only thing I have right now that I can show you that is actually a gift for a very special friend. And I don't want to show it right now. So after I give it to her, I will come back and do a tutorial on how that works. Um, if there's anything you would like to see, uh, kind of like, you know, I did a tutorial on those, uh, just let me know. I'll see what I can do. I also have friends that know how to do things. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, that's about all for now. Uh, don't forget, go to the website and uh, take advantage of the sale. I mean, come on, people. I need to get some of this out of here, okay? Anyway, that's about it. All y'all have a very safe weekend. It's supposed to be very cold here on the 11th of March, 2022, but we'll see. I love all of you. My heart and prayers go out to the people of Ukraine and to anybody else, any of my friends and neighbors and relatives that need it. That's about it. Hasta pasta.